Hi guys. So as promised in the last video, we are back with this video where we give out a detailed information and guide to plan your next trip to Ooty. Ooty is a small and beautiful hill station in the southern state of Tamil Nadu. As it is in the southern part of India, so it is easily accessible to all the southern state. But in this video, we are going to talk about the different ways you can get here, be it from any part of India or even outside India. So this video is going to cover number one, the different ways that you can get here. Number two, the number of days for which you should plan your trip for. Number three, the approximate budget of the trip. Number four, the places to cover. And number five, some special mentions. Let's get started. different ways that you can get here. As we are based out of Bangalore, we will be taking Bangalore as the base location. So we will talk about reaching OT from Bangalore. Number 1. The self-drive option. If you like driving and as a confident driver, you can drive to OT all by yourself. There are many apps in Bangalore which provide the self-drive option and you can book your car through one of these apps. The route to Ooty is not rocket science. However, we'll be talking about the road conditions in the last part of the video. So make sure you stick around till the end. There are two routes to Ooty. One is via hairpin bends and the second is without the hairpin bends. Let's check the first option. The distance from Bangalore to Ooty if you take this route would come up to 280 kilometers. So first, you have to go from Bangalore to Gudlupet, which is around 215 kilometers, and from Gudlupet, you take the Masina Gudi route via Bandipur and Mudumalai National Parks. So, this comes to around 39 kilometers, and then from Masina Gudi to Uti is around 29 kilometers. Let's check the second option. The distance would come up to 315 kilometers. It's a little longer route, but then if you're not confident about the hairpin bends, you can always take this route. With this route, you can go from Bangalore to Gudlupet, which is same as the first option. From Gudlupet, you have to go to Gudlur, which is around 49 kilometers. And then from Gudlur, you reach Uti, which is again 49 kilometers. So finally, you reach Uti. Number two is cabs. If you do not want to get into the hassle of driving, you can always hire a cab. There are many cab aggregators in Bangalore through which you can hire a cab. From our personal experience, the trips we have taken so far, we really go back to Limo cabs as they provide a great service. Now this is not a sponsored video, it's just a personal experience that we are sharing that you will never let be let down by limo cabs. So one of the options you can try is limo cabs. Obviously there are other options as well. The third option is buses. The Karnataka State Road Transport Corporation or commonly known as the KSRTC has the best interstate buses. They are very convenient, comfortable and comes at a decent price if you book well in advance. There are many apps and websites through which you can book your buses to Uti from Bangalore. The buses are frequent enough for you to book through the apps and websites and you can choose your seats according to your wish if you book even 3 or 4 days in advance. But make sure you try to book it 7 to 10 days in advance because sometimes these buses are full. Number 4 are trains. There are no direct trains from Bangalore to Uti, but if you really want to experience a train ride, you can reach Coimbatore and then take a toy train from there. It will give you the feels with breathtaking views. The number of days that you should plan your trip for. So the ideal number of days that you should plan your trip for is 3 days. One day should be spent on travelling and two full days should be there to cover Uti. 
up so you can do the math and plan your trip accordingly. Maybe you can choose an extended weekend or just extend your weekend. The places to cover. Here I'll be taking an example of an itinerary. Plan to reach Uti on a Thursday night so that you will get Friday and Saturday to cover Uti and then you can plan your return travel on Sunday. So if you're reaching on a Thursday night on the morning of the next day, that is the Friday, have a good breakfast and then go to see all the famous tourist places of Uti. So if you cover all the famous tourist places on a weekday or even on a Saturday, you will get less crowd. So you will get to enjoy more and spend time in photography that you cannot usually do when there is a lot of crowd. So the places you should be looking forward to on your first day, the Rose Garden, the Botanical Gardens, the Uti Lake, Dodabeta Peak. For the second day, start your day really early for an early morning drive to Kunur. And then cover the pine forest shooting location. The Paikra Boat House. Keep the 9th mile shooting location for the sunset view. Now let's discuss about the approximate budget of the trip. As we have mentioned so many alternate options of reaching UT, we will also discuss the amount that you are going to spend with these options. Considering the round trip, let's take 650 kilometers as our base. So if you hire a car for self-drive, you're going to spend around 7 to 9,000 for renting the car, around 2.5 to 3,000 on the fuel. The second option is cabs. If you hire a cab and a driver, they're going to charge you 11 to 13 rupees per kilometer. It can go up as well and can go down as well based on the choice of your vehicle. There is an additional cost that is involved with the cabs that is the driver bata. They will charge you 200 to 300 per day for the driver bata. So it just means that you pay the driver 200 to 300 rupees per day. So that is an additional cost that you have to incur if you hire a cab. The next option is buses. The bus tickets can cost you anywhere between 2000 to 3000 for a round trip and that too the bus condition will be very good. So you can save a lot on the budget if you are going for buses. Generally the bus tickets can make a major budget difference as the tickets are cheaper than the cabs and self-drive options. Hotel bookings can come up to 3000 to 4000 for 3 days and the food it depends how much you spend on the food. So overall you're going to spend 14 to 15000 rupees this will be an approximation as it always depends on the individual on how they spend on the trip 5 the special mentions number 1 uti chocolates uti is famous for its homemade chocolates so make sure you stock up in your trip to keep munching throughout your journey but don't forget to pack for your family and friends as well Number 2. Spices The spice market in Uti is famous and has very good quality spices. So if you are planning to visit Uti, you can stock up on your home spices that you can buy from Uti. Number 3. Varke Varke is a Uti famous snack which tastes like a cookie. It can be either deep fried or baked. There are many bakeries where you will find Varke. So make sure you give it a try as you will not regret it. Number 4. The Toy Train if you're traveling from Bangalore and you still want a toy train experience, you can do so from Uti itself. After reaching Uti, buy a ticket from Uti to Kunur and you can enjoy that toy train ride of yours. The hairpin bends are not that difficult or not that narrow, so you can manage it if you are a confident driver. The road, the drive will be mesmerizing. But in case if you don't want to, you can always take the other alternative route. 
So that's it for the video guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope that this video was informative enough so that you can plan your next trip to Uti. We have also linked the video where we have vlogged and shared our experience in Uti in the description box for you to check out. Let us know in the comments below if you liked this video and if it was informative for you. Bye.